Hi everyone, Patrick Cameron uh, here in my isolation bubble in London. Uh, guys, to all of the hairdressers out there, this is a little interview that uh, Bangs Magazine wanted me to do a video interview. So uh, here it is. Okay, my favorite color is blue, uh, whether it's dark blue or uh, Tiffany blue. Tiffany blue is probably the real one that I love. Uh, my kitchen's painted uh, partly in Tiffany blue, and that's the color on the box that you get from Tiffany's jewelry store. So uh, that's my favorite color. Well, my favorite music, to be honest with you, is incredibly eclectic. eclectic. Um, I like music that uh, it has uh, perhaps sort of vintage music going right back to the, the 19 sort of, uh, probably more the, the, the 30s and 40s, the 50s, the 60s, singers like Julie London, uh, Ella Fitzgerald, uh, Etta James, all those sorts of divas. But I also like very current music. Uh, I'm, and so I'm incredibly eclectic and uh, whatever my mood or emotion is, is the sort of music that I like. I play piano, so music for me is, uh, is quite important. Okay, well that's easy. I was back in New Zealand uh, at the beginning of the year and uh, I heard a group that I just, I immediately fell in love with. Uh, I just thought they were so talented. It's a group called 660. S-I-X-60. It's a New Zealand band and uh, I urge you to listen to it and my favourite song that they did and I just, uh, it just make, it melts my heart every time I hear it is called Rivers. Uh, so please have a look out for it. Go on, uh, go on and have a look at Spotify and listen to Rivers 660. <laughs> Um, people inspire me. So I'm a real people's person. I think things that inspire me are how hairdressers often struggle with long hair, how they struggle with putting things together. So what inspires me is how do I create something, a hairstyle, a beautiful style, that you can follow, that you can do easily uh, step by step. So that's what inspires me. I look at the runways, I look at media, I look at film, I look at everything that's going on. But really, I sort of try and uh, figure out if this is the trend, if this is what people are wanting and liking, and this is what I see that they would want, then how do I make that accessible to you? So that inspires me. Well, what's not to think about love? Uh, we all need love. If you haven't got love in your life, sort your life out. Figure it out. You know, I believe in karma. What you put out, you get back. Yeah, you have to. And I think at this point, present point, uh, particularly in isolation, I think uh, it makes all of us realize the importance uh, of people when we can't physically touch them. You know, we can talk to them. Uh, we can speak to them on, on, on the internet and we can speak to them on the phone. But at the end of the day, it's about that common bond, isn't it? So uh, that way that we give out our energy, the way that we perhaps have a cuddle with someone or the way that we hug someone when we say hi to them or whatever the case may be. But love is really, really, well, it's all about love, isn't it? Really, at the end of the day, I love my work. I love my people. I love people around me. And those people hopefully love me. Well, um, very easy, really. I have an amazing husband who loves me and I love him. I have incredible friends who I love and they love me. I have a family that I love and they love me. Uh, and we show that love, I think, in many, many different ways. So uh, that's pretty easy for me to have a reference on that. Now, many of you may not know this, but uh, I don't drink alcohol. I have never drunk alcohol. Growing up in New Zealand when I was a young man, or sort of a, probably a teenager, when all the teenagers were getting into alcohol, uh, it was something that I never really did. I don't think I, I didn't like the taste of it. I didn't really enjoy it. And I found that my personality was just as happy and just as buoyant and bubbly uh, with alcohol as opposed to without alcohol. In fact, interestingly, lots of people would always say to me, Patrick, you were so drunk the other night. Oh my God, you were so drunk. Drunk. I can't believe how drunk you were. And I'd laugh and say, no, I wasn't. I didn't drink. They'd say, don't tell lies. Of course you were drinking. No, I wasn't. I was just having a great time. Yeah. So I don't think you need alcohol to have a great time. Well, this is simple. To uh, all of the hairdressers around the world, particularly to the younger hairdressers who are starting off in our industry, please learn everything. Fashion's a circle, it goes round and round. You need to understand everything from back combing to roller setting, to hair placement, to hair cutting and coloring and the whole thing. I think only, only until you know truly what your craft is all about can you truly blossom inside your craft. To all of the hairdressers out there, I just wanna say hugely, uh, you've chosen a massive, a massively 
wonderful career. It's given me an incredible life. And the other thing I want to do, for those of you that are frightened of long hair, I want you to take up my challenge. I challenge you to follow me on my Facebook and on my uh, Instagram, Patrick Cameron Hair. I'm easy to find. Every week at, on Monday at 10.30 in the morning, UK time, I'm going to be doing two hairstyles. I challenge you to take the fear out of long hair. Come with me on a one hour journey of fun, questions, talking and beautiful hair where I will share with you how to create these amazing bases and ideas. Very, very simple, very easy. To Bangs Magazine, thank you so much. I hope those questions were answered to the way you wanted them. And uh, I just send lots and lots of love uh, to all of you out there.